All right, Scott, thanks. 556 on the Thursday morning. A lot of kids have different ideas on how they would clean up their schools if they were principal. Mm. Yeah, and one boy got that chance, what he did during his one day on the job, and what he says he'd do differently next time. And here's a live look at the East Shore Way. Patty Harkin is up next with your commute when we come back. Putting a wife to work is a very dangerous thing. When I come home and dinner's not ready, I go through the roof. Grab them by the And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. More accusers coming forward to say they were sexually assaulted by Donald Trump. I'll go backstage before a show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed. Donald Trump walked into the dressing room while contestants, some as young as 15, were changing. Yeah. They stayed in there with no clip. You see these incredible looking women. I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. She ate like a pig. A person who's flat chested is very hard to be a 10. So you treat women with respect? Uh, I can't say that either. All right, good. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. This election, I'm getting so worried about how it's going to impact our investments. I am too, and I'm not really sure what we can do about it. Are you worried about the upcoming election and the impact it may have on your investments and your retirement plans? This may not be the time to leave things to chance. Hi, I'm Les Sarka. Let's sit down and make sure that you have a strong plan in place, regardless of the outcome of this election. Larry Hartlob wants to be our state representative, mm. but he's having trouble convincing anyone that he's the right guy for the job. Why? Because Hartlob endorses Ted Strickland and his tax-increasing, job-killing agenda. That's why we need Steve Martin. I've worked hard to move Ohio forward, but I haven't done it alone. Representative Marlene Yelsky stood with me to tackle Ohio's biggest challenges. Thanks to Marlene, we've lowered taxes, closed the deficit, and created good-paying jobs. With her, our progress will continue. Welcome back to Fox 8 News in the morning. Going to the principal's office is never a good thing for children in school. No, unless, of course, that child is actually the principal. 13-year-old mm. Mason Colvin won a school reading challenge out of 700 students at his Idaho school. As a result, he became the principal for a day. The normal principal, Matt Hancock, then went mm. to Mason's classes. Colvin, rather... Mr. Colvin, That's right, you, 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 excuse me, visited classes through the school during the day. He says if he ever gets to be the principal again, he'd like to do something fun, like have everyone go outside and play football. Mason will have that chance with the next reading challenge in March. Love it, love it, love Good it. Idea. That is the news at 5 o'clock on a Thursday morning in the city. The news at 6 begins right now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Fox 8 News in the morning. If you are just waking up, trying to open those eyes from a late night, it is Thursday, November 3rd, 2016, 62 degrees. Look what out there. I'm Christy Capel. And I'm Wayne Dawson. It's wet outside because the uh, heavens are crying because the immense ones. Exactly. Along with all of us. So, yeah, I like it. You like that? That was really Does good. Does that work for you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Didn't even practice. <laughs> right. Let's check it with Scott Sable, see what's happening otherwise. Do you buy it, man? You know, the heavens are because oh. the Indians lost the World Series. You should write a poem or a haiku or something. <laughs> Let's put it on cocktail napkins or something. All right, take a look at uh, the temperatures.